This video is a guide to configuring Master Slave Mode on the AWK product line. Master Slave Mode is a new operation mode for the AWK access points. It allows single radio and dual radio units to be used together to create a seamless, high throughput bridging topology. Single radio units are typically used as end nodes, and the dual radio units are typically used as middle nodes. The typical topology for this type of configuration is a single radio connected to as many dual radios as needed and then connected again to a single radio on the end. For the purposes of this video, we will configure this topology using one dual radio and two single radio units. Setup for master slave mode is quite simple. We will begin with the single radio product. Please log on to begin configuration. The default username for all AWKs is admin and the default password is root. Once you have logged in, select the menu option wireless settings, then under operation mode drop down menu, select master. This will start the master slave bridging link. Once you have selected the proper operation mode, you will need to assign the SSID and security settings. Please note, the master-slave pairings must always have the same settings or the units will not communicate with each other. However, in the dual radio products, each radio, which is a separate master-slave pairing, will need to be different. To set the SSID under Basic Network Settings, select Basic Wireless Settings. Click on the Edit button under Action to change the SSID to your desired SSID. Next, you'll need to configure security if it's desired. Under Basic Wireless Settings, select WLAN Security Settings, then select the desired security mode using the drop-down menu. This completes the head end of the bridge configuration. Please make sure to save and restart the units for the configuration to take place. The next step is to configure the dual radio products. After logging in, choose the wireless settings menu option. Then, select operation mode and choose wireless bridge as the operation mode. Select slave for WLAN 1 and master for WLAN 2. This will allow the internal network connection to take place within the unit, allowing the 5222 to act as a repeater. Please note that the pictures on the configuration screen will show you what settings need to be the same in order for the mode to work properly. To configure the SSID of the first radio, select WLAN 1, then select Edit under the SSID. Please note, since this is a slave to the 3121 we previously configured, the SSID and security settings will have to be the same as that entered on the single radio master. To configure security on this radio, select WLAN Security Settings under the Wireless Settings menu. Click on Edit and then configure the security that you set with the 3121. You will now need to configure WLAN 2 to be the master for the next master-slave pairing. Since you have already selected its operation mode, you'll just need to configure the SSID and security with new settings to reflect the new pairing. Once you have finished configuring both WLANs, simply save and restart your unit to save the configuration. If you have multiple dual radio products, you may simply repeat this process on each one that you have. The final step is to configure the slave at the end of the chain. This will be done on a second single radio product such as the 3121 or 4121. As with the first configuration, you'll need to configure the operation mode. However, unlike with the first unit that was configured as a master, this one will be configured as a slave, effectively ending the radio chain. To do this, simply select slave under operation mode. 
the SSID and security settings will need to be matched to the master setting of WLAN 2 on the dual radio product that you just configured. Once this is complete, you may save and restart your unit. You'll be able to confirm the connections have been made by checking the lights on the front panel of the AWKs or via the web console. This concludes the video tutorial on the AWK's Master Slave Mode.